now let me know where all my salvadorian peeps at if you're salvadorian uh go ahead and spam the comments down below put some salvadorian flags some red hearts yes where my salvadorians at or whatever hey what's up you guys welcome back to my channel so today i am here at one of my favorite restaurants salvadoreño number two it is on 75th ave and thomas and i'm here with mama appetite say hi ma yeah you enjoying your food mm -hmm. get a girl get a girl i sure am all right you guys so i'm gonna insert a little clip this is what i got of getting the popusa de camarón and popusa de revuelta with queso and crema uh, uh, queso fresco i also got the casamiento which is rice and beans mixed together some curtido and salsa and i'm also waiting on some uh, tamales i got the, th the trio tamal that comes with i think chicken lororco con queso and corn i believe salvadorian tamales <clears throat> are amazing anyway let's go ahead and get started because i am still wow fit. heavenly father i ask that you bless this meal and the precious hands that prepared it may you provide for those going without Heal, bless, protect, and provide for all of my BGA crew and everyone watching. In your precious name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. All right, you guys. I'm super excited to dig into this while we wait for the tamales to come. Um, so this is it. They give you some salsita, but it's not spicy. And then the uh, pickled cabbage. So, let's see. I ordered a shrimp popusa, so shrimp and cheese. Oh yeah, this is it right here. Ooh. As as you can see, if I didn't include it in the intro, I'm gonna include it now. Uh, the ladies here make all the pupusas made to order, handmade, fresh, and then throw them on the skillet. Oh my god! Ooh, you guys, this is piping hot. Look at that. I don't know if you can see the steam, but this is how you prep it up. Get a little bit of the pickled cabbage, the cortido. Put it right there, the right here. And then a little bit of the salsita. And then let's go in for that bite. Oh wait, hold on, what am I talking about? A little bit of the crema. Some of the quesito fresco. Are you guys ready for this bite? I hope you all ready for that. Oh my god. Look at that you guys. Look at that. Cheesy goodness, shrimpy. How's yours, ma? Delish. Wow. I was craving them for a while. Yeah, I know. So their salsa is tomatoy based. It's not really spicy. Um, I can taste some garlic in there. Now let's go for this casamiento. Casamiento means marriage. <laughs> <laughs> and literally, it's black beans and rice married together. <laughs> Mm. Very reminiscent of arroz con gandules. Mm. Oh my gosh. We need some more of the shrimp though. There we go. La crema though. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, I love the shrimp. Perfecto, nomás es uh, los tamales. Los tamales van a tener. Sí, gracias. Mm. 
You guys, back, I've been coming to this restaurant since I was in college, my very first semester in college. One of my classmates was Salvadorian. And I had never had, and I never even heard of Salvadorian food in my life. And I, you know, I just, I didn't know. And one day after class, she's like, hey, cause she had asked me, have you ever had Salvadorian? I said, no. So she brought me here one day after class. And ever since I was hooked, this was back in 2014. Mm -hmm. And I've been coming here ever since. But I, what I was going to say is back in the day, their menu was very limited. Oh. It was a little crunchy for you. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Mom. You're welcome. Look how sweet my mom saved that little crunchy cheese bit that I love. Mmm, that's the jalapeno and cheese, huh? Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Mind you, this place has been nominated Best Popusas in all of Arizona since 2019, I believe. 2019, 20. I'm uh, sorry, 2020, 2021, and 2022. Every year they have a Popusa festival here. And, um, yeah. Mm, gracias. All right, you guys. So they ended up bringing the tamales out. They are wrapped in banana leaves, which excites me so much because, you know, uh, Mexican tamales are very different in the corn husk. All right. Oh my gosh. So anyway, what else? The jalapenos, I'll try it. Yes. They're hot and I they're... keep diverting from what I'm trying to say. Back in the day, they only had, thank you, very limited options on pupusas. It was only like chicharrón, frijol, carne asada, and revuelta. And now they have like, create your own pupusa. They have lorolco con queso. They have squash flour, pork. Chicken, beef, shrimp. Mm. This is a jalapeno and cheese. Roasted jalapeno. Mm -hmm. They do have uh, veg vegetarian options. They have mushrooms and cheese, uh, jalapeno and cheese. Mm. That's good. Mm, that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, you gotta help me trying these tamales out. I've never tried uh, um, Salvadorian tamales. You are gonna fall in love with Salvadorian tamales. Okay, so I think I got a chicken one, a corn one. Ooh! Wow. Wow. So you can see the banana leaf. This is so unique. Oh my God. And the difference, these are so like creamy, creamy. Look at that. You can just see the consistency. Let me show you guys. So take a look at the creaminess of these tamales. I mean, they are just so, I know trigger word, moist. <laughs> but they're wrapped in the banana leaf and in foil. They are so, so creamy. Let me go ahead and break into this. I think this is the chicken. Look at that creaminess. Yeah, this is a chicken one. I think, oh no. What is that? Black beans? I think it's black beans. Well, we'll try it right now. All right. Black beans and jalapeno. Mmm. Falco. Oh, that's spicy. And that's crazy because my friend said Salvadorians don't really do jalapenos or spice. So this might be like a modern twist. I'm glad they do it now. Maybe. Even back then when I would come, I would ask for a salsa picante. 
I don't have a... They don't. We don't use Santa Picante. I'm like, oh, okay. Mm. So good. And then they're fresh cheese. This is like a feta cheese, but from a cow. Super crumbly. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Very delicious. Mm. Very soft. I love that soft melt in your mouth creaminess. Wow. Mm. Okay, let's move on to the next. I want you to try them all. I'm gonna give your honest opinion. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is the chicken one. I can see the chicken. Let me show you this one, guys, because it does look different. Okay, so this is the chicken one. Oh no, wait! <laughs> this is the corn! I'm so confused. Okay, this is the corn. Break into it, ma. Oh no, it is chicken. No, yeah. Oh yeah, it is yeah, chicken. It is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the chicken one. Oh my goodness. Dig into that, mama. Yeah. Get that chicken right there. Oh. Yeah, let's give wow. them a mini mukbang. A mama appetite mukbang. Ooh. Get it, girl. Get it, girl. Yes. Mm. How is it? Mm -hmm. Piping hot? Mm. Mm -hmm. Mama appetite approved. All right, my turn. Let's see. Oh, full of chicken. Mm. Oh my gosh. I love that creaminess. Oh my God, I can't get over that. Want some more? No, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be a feast for dinner tonight. <laughs> I am gonna have fun with this. Okay, now this I think is gonna be my all time favorite. This is the one that I get every single time with the Salvadorian sampler. It is called the um, queso con lo rorco, which is kind of, it's it's a vine flower only found in Central America, or sorry, uh, yeah, Central America. So this is the one, lo rorco con queso. My goodness, this is my favorite one out of all. Go ahead, my dig in. Open it up, see what's in yes. there. Yes. See that vine flower and the oh, cheese? okay. Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go for it. Wow, it got cheese in the center. Y'all wanted that. <laughs> Y'all wanted that. Oh, yeah, this one's my favorite. Mm hmm Yep. The vegetable with cheese is my favorite. Wow. Mm -hmm. This one ain't gonna make it home. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. Look at that. Mm. Let's just hit that with a little bit of salsa for some extra flavor. Oh, look at this. Look at this cheese board. Ah, it didn't happen. Maybe now? Kinda. Mm. I urge you guys to come down here. You need to come down here, literally. Mm. Wow. The pupusas are huge. Oh. Oh, oh that hurts. <laughs> Oh, it's going down real slow. <laughs> yep. I'm eating way too fast. Mm. 
your honest opinion, which one was the best out of all three? I like the chicken. The chicken was uh -huh. your favorite? Uh-huh. Okay, mama liked the chicken. Mine is uh, the lororco. And then let's not forget this cabbage, man. This is amazing. A little bit of oregano in there. Some vinegar. I see some like crushed red peppers in here, but it, 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 it has zero spice. Mm. Mm -hmm. That crunch is everything. <clears throat> okay, now I got a revuelta. You want to try this one? No, thank you. This is beans, chicharron, and cheese. Mm. These are the most popular ones. Revueltas are the most highly requested. Really? Popusa, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Once again, shout out to all my Salvadorians. Y'all know what to do, what to do, when to do, how it do. Y'all hook it up with this. Mm. Wow. So this plate right here that I'm eating, I ended up getting the um, two pupusa combo. They also have a three pupusa combo, or you can order these one, one piece a la carte. I think individually they're like $3.95. <clears throat> However, if you do the combo, the combo for two with two sides, which I picked the cheese and the cream, you can pick rice, beans, fried plantains. That one for two is um, $10.95, I believe. And then if you get a third, the three pupusa combo, that one's what, $11.95? Something like that, so a dollar more. Which I should have done that actually. And then we probably could have split it because you only eat one pupusa. One, one, wow, me and mama, I swear, every time we go out to eat, we always say, uh, we always end up picking our own plates, right? And then after we eat, we're like, oh my God, we could have shared that. We have a lot of leftovers. Always, like when we go to Chili's, we always get the, uh, the trio fajitas each, and we always have so much food left over. And we look at each other and we're like, why didn't we share this? Future reference. Yep. We'll get the three pupusa combo and share it. Exactly. It's a lot of food, guys. I'm it's stuffed. Food. This food is definitely shareable friendly. The tamales were $9.95 for the three sampler. The cortido is on the house. The salsa is on the house. This was a buck something, two bucks for that. I highly recommend everything here. Everything is so fresh and made to order. You guys are not going to regret coming here. I'm even thinking about trying their dessert. Cause mama said they got some kind of like cheesecake. So we'll see. Queso, pan de queso, le llaman, I think, pan de queso. You guys as you can see we got the these are called neguadas de yuca with me con miel so these are uh like yuca potato yuca root with a syrup i'm assuming this is like a molasses syrup oh my god mm -hmm. mm -hmm. want to try a little wow that is good Mmm. It's a little bit. Like little fried potato balls. 
with a molasses type of a, uh, look at that, look at you guys. They're so fluffy and airy, and this sauce is so good. Mmm. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. It almost turns like bready. Mm. Wow. Mm. That is super good. I wonder how they make this miel. My Salvadorians, how do you guys make the, the syrup for this? Is it molasses or caramelized sugar? Mmm. That is unlike anything I've ever had. This is the beauty of trying different cultures, foods. You get to experience new experiences, new flavor profiles. I've never tasted anything like this. I cannot even describe it. Let me see. Mm. Well, this is made from cane, I think. Cane sugar? Sugar cane. Sugar cane? Mm-hmm. Mama says she thinks it's made from sugar cane. Well, can't you make molasses out of sugar? Uh, or is it corn syrup or what? Something like that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Almost like a maple syrupy flavor. Yes. Mm -hmm. Huh. Yeah. Very, a little deeper and richer than like a maple syrup. I better stop, these are addicting. <laughs> <laughs> and the little, these little fried uh, dumplings, whatever they're called. Ooh. I love that texture, so good. You guys, I also have flan and other delicious Salvadorian desserts, <clears throat> but this one's the one that caught my eye, okay. I just, I have to eat this last piece. This is so good. Soak it, soak it. Yeah, I know, I'm making sure it's nice and drenched. Oh yeah. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Once again, make sure you come down here to Salvadoreño 2 on 75th Avenue in Thomas. You guys are not gonna regret it. This place is amazing. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm leave the video here. Thank you so much to all my BGA crew for your love and support. If you're new here, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, besitos.